Hey, what's up guys? This is Alan over at Sonic Electronics. We've got a follow-up video on the Nexus 7 for you. This is the follow-up to our previous one that you probably saw already. Um, in the last video, we were kind of not quite done with the install yet. Uh, there's a few things I just wanted to kind of show you on the install and then kind of go over the whole entire system that we uh, that we set up with the Nexus 7. So to first, first off, we basically made a little door right here on some hinges. That way the Nexus 7 can slide right out of there and then you can close it and then you still have your little tray up here. I don't know what you put up there personally, but it's still functional. Uh, we mounted the Bit1 controller. This is where the boss man wanted everything to be. Just wanted to show you that it works. So for those of you that don't know, this is the Audison Bit1 DRC controller. We're going to show you where that's all mounted in just a second. But uh, we're really happy with the way it turned out. We're stoked on the Nexus 7. We hope that uh, we'll be doing more shortly here. And just really cool, really fast. Definitely like, you know, like we talked about in the other video. Super nice tablet. Pandora works freaking awesome. I do like this song, so we're going to thumbs up on that one. But this just gives you everything that you need. You know, from navigation to all your music, your email, all your apps. You guys know what an Nexus 7 tablet is, so I don't need to show you all that. But uh, basically what we wound up doing in the front doors, we went with some Infinity Kappa components in the front. And the rear doors, we went with some Infinity Kappa coaxials. And then uh, I just kind of want to show you what's under both seats. I'm going to show you the amps that we used, the sub, and I'm going to show you the Audison Bit 1. So let's check it out. Here's my freaking screwdriver that I was missing earlier. So under the seat, under the driver's seat here, we have um, two of the NVX JAD 800.44 channels. And um, one of them we're using active for the front set of components. So two of the channels are running the tweeters in the dash. The other two channels are running the mid-base drivers in the door. Um, and then the other four channel, two of the channels are running our rear speakers here. And then the other two channels are running our subs, which are under the seat here. And this is the MTX Thunderform. Uh, this is a pre-made enclosure that's designed specifically for this truck. It includes the woofers and everything. You may have seen this in a previous video that we had um, on this truck here. Uh, this is a great solution for something that drops in, sounds good, and there's no modification at all. So let's move to the other seat. So this is my favorite part of the whole thing, just because I love Audison. Bam! This is the Audison Bit 1. This is the 31 band EQ. Um, that's what the DRC controller that I talked about earlier is connected to, which controls the volume. So basically we have the headphone output of the Nexus 7 going right into the Bit 1. And then from the Bit 1, that's going out to our two JAD4 channels that we're using to drive the system. This guy gives us a full 31 band EQ on the fly, time alignment, time delay, you name it, this does it. Um, in my opinion, it's the best piece that's out there and that's why we chose to use it. There's other ways of connecting this, um, but we just kind of went for the gusto with this one and figured, you know, let's make it the best that we can. So some of you guys were asking what we were using to connect the Nexus 7 to the internet and how we were playing music and how we were doing uh, GPS and all that. So basically what we did, because the Nexus 7 doesn't have 3G, uh, or any kind of data service built into it. We're basically tethering the, th uh, the 3G connection over the iPhone 4S here uh, to the Nexus 7. And that allows us to listen to our Pandora, our Spotify, YouTube videos, uh, email, you name it, anything that you would need an internet connection for, it pulls it right off here. And it works perfect because, I mean, you still have your phone, you pay for one data plan, you can use your Nexus while you're in the car. Um, that's it. Um, if any of you guys are interested in doing any installation like this, we do offer this at our Valencia location here in Southern California. 
Um, if that's quite a drive for you or far away, I totally understand. Give us a call. We definitely can do something like this. If you want to mail us your dash, we can definitely do a modification, mock it all up, get it ready for you, send it back. You guys can finish the install on your own. Uh, we're also going to have included uh, in the description below some links of all the products that we used. And uh, like I said, don't hesitate. Give us a call. We do this kind of stuff here. And if you have any questions, we're here to help you out. Thanks for watching. Alan at Sonic Electronics.